Um, yeah, let's let's head back to the base. I really should not be out here without a health pack and a bandage. That's just foolish. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and we are now caught up. So, yes, this video I'm recording on April 4th. plan to release it on April 5th. And moving forward, I do not expect to get way, uh, you know, way far ahead of you guys um, because I don't, I don't have any more business trips coming up for a while. So, um, as you can see, it is now December. The lake has frozen up, and we are uh, dealing with winter now. I do not have the appropriate winter clothing because I made the decision, if you didn't see the previous episodes, to get uh, all the armor stuff first. So we're going to just have to really be careful with, um, you know, that fact while, while it's really cold and, you know, not get too far away from the base. Um, we're going to need to get some spoiled meat or, yeah, spoiled meat or food or whatever going because um, we, we can make some heat packs to help with that. Unfortunately, <coughs> excuse me, I put... Uh, I put all of my spoiled meat into the mass recycler um, and kind of wasn't thinking that I would need some of that for, uh, you know, for heat packs. So, so that was a bit of a mistake, but that's all right. We will, we'll do the best we can and we shall prevail. Yes, we shall. Okay. I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit low on resources because I haven't really had a good opportunity uh, to go out and about. Uh, right now, we can handle up to minus 5.2 uh, cold. So as long as it's not, you know, as long as it's daytime A and B, it is not storming, uh, we should we should be able to go out for at least a little while, you know, to get resources, which we we really do because I'm starting to get low on some stuff. And then, um, you know, once we can get some spoiled meat going then I can make some heat packs and then that will help us even further until we can get to the point where we can make some warmer clothing now as far as clothing goes uh, we have the heavy duty pants um, but we're still sporting the medium shirt so we need to upgrade the medium shirt to the heavy duty sh duty shirt which will give us more warmth and more protection and then after that we want to go for uh, the winter jacket I've never really bothered with the sweater or this shirt here, um, just because I've never, I, I never really needed it. You know, once you have the the high end uh, armor, you know, high end shirt and pants, along with the winter jacket, I, I've I've done just fine. Unless it was just a really really extreme storm, you know, that I got caught out in. In which case, you know, you stop and build a fire and or you use heat packs. Um, but the thing is, is I got to thinking about this. You know, there's an extra slot here, so I wonder if you can wear I know you can't wear the coat and the vest at the same time, but I wonder if you can also wear the sweater and the coat and the t-shirt. The I don't know. If you guys know in the comments, let me know if that's poss possible, because it does seem to imply that there is one another piece of clothing that we should be able to put in there. Okay, so we have our animal trap out here. It is fully watered and fully loaded with food, but we need to find a chicken to put in there. Um, I have raised rabbits before in Season 1. Um... Or maybe after I ended season one, you know, uh, for the recordings, but I still played on that. In fact, I still have that save too, by the way. I still played on that save for a little while longer. And raising rabbits, in my opinion, is not worth it. Apparently, uh, supposedly you get a little more fertilizer from them than you do from the chickens, but you don't get as as good a stuff uh, once you harvest, you know, a level ten rabbit. So. Anyway, okay, so chickens. We, we need chickens, we need spoiled meat, and we need pretty much everything, really. Um, let's just take a quick look and see where we're at with stuff. So we're very low on cloth, um, even to the point where I can't even make a bandage, which is not good. So let's take that piece of cloth with us. Uh, we're going to put the rose, uh, the rose uh, hip berries in there. Let's just use this little bit of wood that we grabbed. I, I guess I didn't get all the trees, but that's all right. Uh, we'll just kind of throw this stuff in here for now. This is ammo. We'll put this in here. What are we working on? We're actually working on zinc. Okay, let's stop that. Uh, we do have to be really careful 
now that we have a fridge with you know stuff in it that we don't let our power go out especially you know while we're gone and so what that basically means is when i'm not at the base until we can get some more upgrades going and making you know things more efficient and whatnot we need to make sure nothing else is running uh, while we're out and about so we have you know so we make sure that we don't run out of power on the fridge now we are going to do the upgrades to make this more efficient we're just not quite that far yet okay so let's grab where is the fuel here we go let's make sure this is completely topped off and you know we have a good amount of fuel so the other thing i'm going to do is make sure the generator is on while we're out and about and if it happens to fill the power all the way up before we get back it'll shut off automatically and, and which is good because then it won't keep wasting our fuel we got good water in there we got good water in there and so uh, do we have cotton in any of these? We do not. Yeah, so we need cotton seeds too. Do I have a lockpick? I do. All right, so let's head on out, ladies and gentlemen, and do some looting. Uh, the base, I believe, is in really good condition. Uh, we are going to... How are we doing on food and water and all that? Yeah, let's top off our carbs. Everything else looks good. Uh, we are going to continue, you know, our build, of course. And... Um, we just have to wait, you know, until we get a few more resources. So winter's tougher. If you guys didn't know this, uh, you get less, there's less resources available in the winter, which of course makes sense. Um, so I think that means there's less crates or the crates don't have as much stuff in them or whatever. But um, I, I have found winter not to be that difficult as long as you're prepared. We're not as prepared as we should be, but I, I still am not worried about it. I think we'll, you know, still get by okay. Okay, so let's just eat one blueberry. And maybe even one protein bar just to get it, everything topped off there. And um, yeah, let's get uh, let's get this cooking up. So we just walk in the snow to fill that up. So we don't even have to punch a hole in the ice for the water, of course, which is really nice. And we'll throw this in here. And now let's head out. So the thing is, is if we run into a storm, we need to get back to the base immediately. Um, or if, if we can't get back to the base immediately for some reason, then we need to stop and make a campfire. But I don't want to get super far, far away from the base either. We probably won't even go up into the north until either A, winter is over, or B, we manage to make the winter coat. So we're just going to kind of stay in the south-ish um, for, you know, for now. Okay, let's see what we can find. There is a bunny. All right, I'm going to act. I know he's alive, but I'm going to kill him so that I can make a bandage right now, A, and we're going to let this meat intentionally spoil so that, you know, we can, we can start making some heat packs. Let's put this bandage down in our usual spot here. Got a crate up on the hill. I have a question for you guys, too. Um, I have been, as you've probably noticed if you've been watching all along, I've been doing um, editing with these videos. So I either use, oh crap, I either use um, time lapse. How did that not kill you? It's a good thing we made that bandage. Um, I either use time lapse for kind of long stretches where nothing's happening and we're just, you know, walking around and stuff. Or I even just cut that out and move to the next interesting part. Um, are you guys down with that? Or would you prefer that I show you everything? Um, I know that some subsistence players, I've been watching a lot of Ono Koho and I've watched Emma Mittims and I've watched Game Edged. Um, and in fact, I've watched them a lot recently just because I've been on these trips and I haven't been able to play myself. And, you know, I noticed they don't do a whole lot of editing. Uh, they sh uh, Ono shows everything. I don't think he ever does any editing that I've noticed, or it's very seldom. Um, So just kind of give me some feedback, if you don't mind, on, on that. And uh, I think, I mean, if I was watching me, I would kind of prefer that, you know, the time lapse for the more, we'll say, boring parts or... You know, even the, even the switches to the next scene kind of thing. But, I mean, that's me. 
so if you guys if the majority of you guys want to see everything let me know and and we'll do it you know i'll show you the boring parts too and and you know try and keep the the commentary coming as best as i can and just give me some feedback on that if you if you would i appreciate it okay so now we have you know what i should have done i should have brought a canteen with me uh, but now we have messy hands so that means we're gonna have to punch a hole in the ice the problem with punching a hole in the ice in this game is you have to use your axe and when you do that it actually see what i did there actually uh, where's the axe down and, and like pretty quickly too actually I, I did it again i said actually how many times can we say actually in the next you know 60 seconds okay start counting so anyway actually no <laughs> um yeah so that's a thing to be aware of it does it does wear down the axe didn't say actually you guys thought i was going to but i didn't all right wait no i just did any hoozle Oh, crap, it's snowing. Okay, let's just keep our eye on the temperature. It's minus one right now, which we can still handle, but if we get wet from the snow, then that's going to reduce that even further. So, yeah, we don't want to get too far away from the base. Now, the cool thing is we can run straight back to the base. We don't have to swim in the water to get back to it, so we, we can get back home more quickly and more easily than before. Uh, let's hit this grub tree. So once we're done with this, then we should probably go down, you know, to the lake and wash up one one thing i i am going to continue to do just because it works better it works for me better for me um in terms of time that i have to play in the game and that sort of thing is i i am still going to do a lot of off-camera stuff i'm just talking about when we are when i am recording and i do the you know the cutscenes and stuff like that so keep that in mind Hopefully you guys don't mind the off-camera stuff too much, but the thing about this game is there is it is so grindy, and I, I don't I don't and I'm not saying that in a bad way. I I enjoy the grind in this game. That's part of just the fun of playing it. You know that wanting to find that next piece of loot because all the loot is so precious in this game is is really what makes this game as fun to play as it is, right? Um, but th there's just so much of that that it seems to me like if you recorded every single moment in the game, you know, doing all this mundane stuff, it's it's going to get boring. I mean, who's going to want to watch that all of the time? You know what I'm saying? So I, there's probably a few of you that would like to watch it all the time, but most of you probably don't. So, you know, that's uh, something to, to consider as well. Um... I hit my three key. Oh, crap. We don't have um, another bandage. Okay, so we're going to have to take our health back. That's too bad. Ah, I hit my three key, but I guess I didn't hit it hard enough and my shotgun didn't come up. So that's what happened there. <laughs> okay, now we can make a bandage. But I think I'm going to let my dude... No, we probably better fix ourselves while, while we can. Let's just fix ourselves while we can. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's go punch a hole in the ice here and get washed up. We have to make sure the water's deep enough before it'll let us actually do it. This is all really shallow in this cove here. Here we go. So watch the durability on my axe, even just from one uh, ice hole here. See how far, it's, how quickly it's going down. All right, now we can wash. So yeah, that's a thing. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the ice holes uh, in the game, they will they'll freeze back up. And I don't, I, I don't know what the actual time. Oh, we gotta be careful. Charlie's over here. I gotta pay attention, man. Um, Charlie's actually over that way, I believe. They'll freeze back up in about a half a day, I think, or something along those lines. Look at Charlie's base. You, you know, they're raidable now. They've got... They they have at least one crate ready to raid. So that's, you know, something we should take, keep in mind anyway. Uh, but here, let's go... Oh, where are we at? Let's see. We got a liver. 
We have no way to heal ourselves. So I think that means we should go back to the base and at least make another... Oh, you know what, though? We can't even make another health kit because we need one piece of cloth for that. Okay, we're going to have to keep hunting. Hopefully we can come across another rabbit so we can get at least get that one piece of cloth because being out in this game with no health kits and no bandages is no bueno. It is very, very dangerous to do that. So let's see if we can find ourselves another critter. Um, That's fully loaded. We got a stupid eagle there. Preferably a rabbit, but if we... Oh, there's a white wolf. I mean, we could just use the shotgun on him, I guess. Um, and, and, you know, of course, if we could find a locked crate. What level is... That's a level three white wolf. All right, you know what we're going to do? Let's do this. Okay, hopefully he'll drop some cloth. Ah, yes, he did. Okay, cool. So that means we can make uh, one of the... Oh, well, we still can't because I've got the medicinal tonics back at the base. All right, well... Let's be, let's be ultra, ultra careful. <laughs> okay, there's a chicken. And there's another wolf there uh it's a level two wolf okay i think i shot one of those over over his head there all right so we didn't get a piece of cloth off of him. I hear another wolf. Where are you? Where's the wolf? He's got to be somewhere over there. Okay, let's pop up over here. Uh, this is locked crate territory, but we do need to be careful that we don't run into Alpha, which is just right up over that hill there. We actually haven't raided Alpha yet, have we? Okay, we are taking a little bit of health damage too because it's snowing and it's minus five degrees. So yes, I need to be heading back to the base. I absolutely need to be heading back to the base. I'm just gonna take a quick peek up here for a potential locked crate, and then we're gonna turn around and make a beeline back to the base. We did see a rabbit over here, too. That rabbit's a guaranteed piece of hide. I am... I am watching my health. Definitely watching the health. Oh, yeah, there's Alpha right there. That's actually about as close to them as I want to get. Okay, well, you know what? I don't know where that rabbit went. It's time to go home. Let's head on back. And we can just run right across the ice. So we don't have to get slowed down swimming, which is nice. Maybe some more crates will spawn in behind us, which the game does tend to do. I probably should carry a fire starter or some matches with me um, until we can, you know, get a little bit warmer winter clothing. So that way we can stop and make a fire if we really need to. Okay, I don't see anything else to loot. Uh, oh, it's minus four. Okay, so it's actually warming back up a little bit. It's probably just because we're down low. There's some rose hips. Alpha's up that way. Um, yeah, let's let's head back to the base. I really should not be out here without a health pack and a bandage. That's just foolish.
Okay. Let's wash our hands. And we'll refill this. Uh, where to go? There you go. Whoops. Okay, we're gonna... How many... How many, um, of these do we have? We have four of those. Okay. Um, let's make liver... Oh, we got liver in here, too. Okay, let's put all the liver in here. We're gonna turn all that into liver and onions. Um, we're gonna let the rabbit meat spoil. And I'm gonna put... Cook two steaks and put two raw steaks in here because... We want to start hanging on to some of that, too, for steak and potatoes. Okay. Now, let's get some onions out of here and some liver out of here. Whoops. And let's make some liver and onions. Beautiful. Okay. So, yeah, we are in super, super good shape food-wise. We definitely are feeling good about our food situation. We got an onion seed and... Uh, where am I keeping seeds? I guess some keeping seeds in here, maybe. So yeah, we'll keep the seeds in there. We're letting this spoil here. We can even just throw this in here and we'll let it spoil in the crate so we can make some heat packs. Put this in there. Uh, we need. Oh yeah, we needed to make a a health pack, health kit, and let's also. Where are we at on power? Okay, we're doing pretty good on power. Let's just keep running this until our power gets all the way to 2,000. And I'm going to drink that. And let's refill it again. Okay, now a blizzard's coming, so we are definitely not leaving the island. It's getting going to get really cold out. Um, and you can tell it's a blizzard because, you know, you, you can kind of hear the wind start to rumble. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the video, but... Alright, let's put all this stuff in here. I'm going to grab a fuel log. And, well, let's, we should wait a little bit longer. Let's just wait a little bit longer. So, I'll keep the fuel log in here next to the fire. Uh, this can go back down here. Ammo stuff can go in here. Feathers actually are ammo... So let's start st uh, storing those in there, too. We have two of these, so we should probably actually make ourselves some more arrows. Okay, so we don't have any sticks. Oh, look at this. We have a full thing of that. So we're going to make, yeah, we're going to make some um, fuel logs out of that. So let's make some more arrows first. We'll wait for these sticks to finish, and then we're going to make a... A full stack of fuel logs. Well, uh, from a full stack of of fiber, that is. And we are we still have a full stack of cordage too, so we're good to go on that. We don't need to make any more of that for now. Let's grab and chow down on a liver and onions. And we got a max health increase out of that. Okay, good. Uh, we still need a little bit more fruit and veggies though. I'm gonna put the the cooked steak in the refrigerator. Oh, this needs to go in here, too. Okay, now we are going to make some arrows, and then we're going to make a whole bunch of fuel bricks. I wish we had a, a make all or craft all a button in the game, you know? That'd be nice. That would be nice. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait on that fuel. Oh, we were talking about carrying some matches with us. Yeah, let's just grab these matches and we'll carry those around with us. So if we have to make a fire out in the field, you know, then we have the ability to do that. Okay, so we got some tomatoes that are getting close, which is fantastic. Let's get uh, our water out of here and top off our crops. And we'll also grab whatever fertilizer we have. What are you doing? Um, you are doing nothing. Let's make some fertilizer, some potassium fertilizer. From that now as far as the next thing we want to build I think I'm, I'm kind of wanted to do the upgrade on the bow um, 
So we have enough power and mass to do that. We're going to have to make two metal ingots and three ropes. Do I have any ropes straight up? No, but we certainly have the ability to make those. So let's make three ropes. And then for ingots, how many ingots did that say we needed? Two. And do I have any ingots? I do not have any ingots. Okay. So let's go here. Oh, we're short just a little bit of iron. Okay, so we're going to swap out this and put that in there. Ooh, yeah, listen to that blizzard. Let's just see what the temperature is outside right now. It's minus 9 degrees. Woohoo, that's cold. Yeah, we're going to stay nice and cozy inside the house here. Nice and cozy. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Let's top these off. And we'll split this in half. And then these are onions and potatoes. So we'll top that off and give those some fertilizer. These are getting 30% light right at the moment. This is 45% light. It's probably because it's getting some light from both windows, whereas this one is more getting more light from just that window. You know what? That's something we should keep in mind, though. If we want something to grow just a little bit faster, we should start putting that in this crop plot here. Oh, my goodness. That used a, a whole mess of our sinew, didn't it? Making those ropes. Okay. Well, cougar hunting. We're going to have to do some cougar hunting. We still have 99 cordage, so that's a good thing. And let's drink that. Come out here. I hope... Does the cold... You guys know, does the cold have any effect on the animal pin? I don't know. I do not know if it does or not. I'm going to say probably it doesn't, but maybe it does. All right, let's put some liver and onions in here. You're still making one more. All right, is that enough to make that last ingot? Yes, it is. Well, we'll make that, and then we will get our bow upgraded to a level two, and we should we should then be able to start one-shotting level one wolf, or I'm sorry, two-shotting level one wolves with normal arrows with an upgraded level two bow, which is going to be nice. Okay. That's at 50%. You are not doing anything at the moment. Um, let's grab the fat that's currently in there and just keep this topped off. And are we... Where are we keeping the fat? I think we're keeping it in here because it's kind of more like a chemical item, I guess. These still haven't spoiled yet. that stuff back in there all right so now we should be able to upgrade our recurve we need oh we need three weapons parts and five electronics easy peasy and there we go look at that you guys upgraded recurve bow beautiful thing it is a beautiful thing That's, we still have a little more time left on that. So let's just keep the fuel. Wait a minute. Whoops. Oh, there they are. Okay, I was going to say, I thought I had a whole bunch more Presto logs. I do. I just put them down there. All right. Well, I think this is probably as good of a place as any to wrap up the episode because it is getting dark. We have a blizzard outside. I'm probably going to run out and cut some trees and... Just kind of run in and out of the house to warm up and then go back out, cut a few more trees, run back into the house, warm up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then in the morning, uh, the plan will be uh, to go back out and keep looting. I mean, that's we just need to keep looting. That's all there is to it. Um, if, you know, weather permitting, of course. All right, you guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, do definitely, you know, give me some feedback on the discussion earlier about if you like 
the edited videos or if you want to see everything that's going on all the time you know something like that and then uh i will see you guys in the next episode and by the way thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode goodbye